Hello, let us solve this one. Here I have written the question in German and English both. I will explain in English. So here the month of July has 31 days. In the following table, heat days and rainy days are always different days. Let us solve A. The number of heat days in July 2014, it means this one, July 2014, is 1 8th of the number of heat days in July 2015. So this is quite simple. Here, July 2015 has 16 heat days, isn't it? And 1 8th of it, it means times 1 over 8. And if I simplify this, I will get 16 over 8 and that's equal to 2. So here, for A, answer is 2. That's quite simple. Let us go with B. How many days in July in the 3 years 14, 15 and 21 were neither hot days nor rainy days? So very simple. Here what I will do, I will add heat days and rainy days. So heat days plus rainy days is 22, right? So that means rest 9 days of the month, July has 31 days, right? So 22 plus 9 is 31. They want neither heat days nor rainy. So other than hot, other than rainy are 9. Then let us think about this. So 16 plus 9 is 25. 25 plus what gives me 31? So 6, right? So it means 6 days are neither hot nor rainy. Let us do same way for July 2021. I will add these two. So 20 plus 0 is 20. 20 plus what gives me 31? 11, right? So that means sum of these three, sum of these three values is my answer. That's neither hot nor rainy. So 9 plus 6 plus 11 and that is 26 days. And that's my answer for B. Now let us do C. The mean value of the three average temperatures is 19.1. How many degrees Celsius is the average temperature in July 2015? So basically we have average of these three, but here this value is unknown. So let us say X. Now you must know here how to find average. So average it means you need to add these three and divide them by three because we have three data points. One, two, three. So I will very quickly add these three. So this plus this is 35.1 plus x. Now for average, I have to divide this by 3. And we know the average is 19.1. So here I will write 19.1. Now I have to isolate x in order to find value of x. Here you must know how to solve the equation. If you don't know how to solve equation, it may be hard for you. So here I will multiply both the sides by 3. So here by 3 and here also by 3. So 3, 3 cancelled. That means 35.1 plus x is equals to 57.3. Now I want to isolate x. So I will subtract 35.1 from this side, 35.1 from this side. Plus 35.1 minus 35.1 will make 0. And if you subtract these two, you will get x is equals to 22.2 and that's my answer for C. You may find the last one confusing if you do not know average. So you can search on Google how to find average, how to find mean and you can get little bit idea about it. And then you need to see this video again. It will give you better understanding. I hope you find it useful.